Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Dr. Alessandro. Please like and subscribe. And today's video is a continuation of Dental Lectre's uh, video from last time, where I discussed bite wing and periapical x-rays, the x-rays that we take for checkups and if you have a problem when you come into the office. So this video instead focuses on the panoramic x-rays. So this is our panoramic machine. It is digital, so unlike our other x-rays, which are film, this one actually is digital, which we can see on a computer screen immediately once it's done, and we can print out from a printer. Uh, so that makes it convenient to save a lot of time. Uh, but what this type of x-ray does, a panoramic x-ray, so you might wonder, well, what is this thing that we see that spins around our head? And what are we seeing and what, what's it doing? Well, what it's doing is it's basically capturing an image of your jaws from a certain point. So your jaws, upper, lower, it can even get your eyes to a certain degree um, and the bones around your eyes. And we're basically using this typically, uh, most of the time that we use this type of x-ray, we're trying to figure out where wisdom teeth are. So this is generally speaking, a type of x-ray that's used to determine the location and quantity of wisdom teeth. Uh, because it's not said that everybody has four wisdom teeth. Some people have three, two, one, some even have none. And some even have more, some even have five, six, seven, eight. There can even be a lot more than that if there's a real anomaly. So there are different anomalies and even extra teeth aside from wisdom teeth. So we can have missing teeth, we can have extra teeth, and x-rays like the panoramic can help detect that. Um, they can also help detect tumors. So should you have a tumor, it can be used to detect that. Should you have a fracture of the jaw, it can be used to detect that potentially too. So there are a lot of different uses for the panoramic x-ray machine, but it is mainly used for detecting wisdom teeth their location, and how many. Uh, so what are the advantages? Well, of course, this type of x-ray will let us know where wisdom teeth are so that you know when you need them out, an oral surgeon can use that image to know where to go. Um, disadvantages. You can't really diagnose cavities with this type of machine, at least not small ones, certainly, because this machine produces a lot of distortion. So it, the image isn't exactly a one-to-one -one replica of your mouth. It's tough to see small things, small cavities in between the teeth, because this isn't gonna pick them up. This is only gonna see bigger issues. So if you have a big cavity, yeah, we'll be able to see it on this type of an image. But if you have smaller cavities, we may not be able to determine that. So we can't just use this type of x-ray to say, hey, yes, you've got cavities, small ones in between these, this tooth, this tooth, this tooth it's not gonna work that way. The only thing that we're gonna see really are bigger items of concern. So that is what this x-ray is intended for and does. So are there other x-rays like that? Sure there are. Uh, there are cephalometric x-rays, which, well, orthodontists use. And orthodontists use those to basically trace angles, to see where teeth are aligned and positioned. And so that way they can figure out their treatment plans to give you the best possible treatment. So there are those type of x-rays. There are also cone beam CT scanners. Now those are mainly used by oral surgeons and by endodontists, the root canal specialists, because they wanna see the anatomy, complex anatomy potentially, of your teeth, of the roots of the teeth, of the canals inside the roots of your teeth, and of the areas around the teeth and the roots themselves, because sometimes there are tricky things that a two-dimensional image like an x-ray, like a panoramic x-ray, won't be able to tell them. They won't be able to see certain structures, certain anatomy, because a two-dimensional image is just that, but our mouth is a three-dimensional object. So there isn't any real depth associated with an image from a panoramic x-ray or from our other x-rays. So a cone beam CT will provide that third dimension and will give them an idea of where there are problems and where in space, in the third dimension, those problems lie. So that's the helpful, you could say, the helpful nature of a cone beam CT. So those are different types of x-rays that we have. Now there are other views that are used more for oral surgeons, like a Waters view, uh, other types of views, uh, but they're mo mostly for fractures or complex surgeries. Uh, and we're not gonna get into those at this point. So let me show you what a panoramic x-ray looks like that way you'll know and you'll have an idea when you next go to your dental visit. 
Okay, YouTubers, so this is an example of an old school film style. So not computer based, not digital based, but an old school film style panoramic x-ray. And what you can see, for example, this is a wisdom tooth. And this is a wisdom tooth. And over here on this side, this is a wisdom tooth. And this is a wisdom tooth. So this particular patient is probably young and has all four wisdom teeth. Now, like I said, we can't really see small cavities going on uh, because that's not what this type of x-ray is intended for. We can see a silver filling up here. This, this is also silver filling. We can see a tooth colored filling down here, maybe some small tooth colored fillings here. Um, and this looks like it might be a cavity, but I'm not 100% sure because again, this type of x-ray gets a lot of distortion. So I'm not gonna definitely say this is a cavity. It may not be, it might be, but it might not be. Um, and even here, well, is there something going on over here? Maybe, I don't know, but you know, again, I'd need a bite wing to be able to say, yes, this is a cavity versus this could be just some distortion or some uh, film, some types of some type of discoloration on the film. I, I can't be 100% sure of that. This is the sinus right here. So this right here is the sinus. And this right here is also the sinus. The orbits would be up here. So this is an orbit right up here. And this is an, probably an orbit right up here. So that's where the eyes are. And as you can see, like there's some distortion. Like these two teeth look like they're jamming huge, but they're not. They're actually the same size as these, but they look like they're positioned upwards and that's not quite the right spot. That's not how this person is. Uh, so again, you can get some distortion with the image, especially in this zone right here. Um, but you can get distortion on a panoramic x-ray pretty much anywhere if the patient isn't quite positioned right. Um, and even in general, uh, it can be up to about 30 to 35% distortion depending. So, so yeah, this x-ray again, not intended to make fine diagnoses on small stuff, but it basically gives you an idea of where the big stuff is. So thanks again, YouTubers, for joining me. I appreciate it. Please like and subscribe and share with your friends and hope you're all staying well and healthy.